All right, we're going to go ahead. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what we're going to do this morning before we get started. Um, if you want, you may want to have a blanket or a towel folded up nearby. This is not a class that's going to require a lot of props or anything like that. Uh, but if you know you'd like to have a blanket under your seat to start an easy seated, if you know you like to have a blanket underneath your knee for low lunge, uh, or even for under your head at the end of class when we take Shavasana, that's perfect. Go ahead and grab it. It doesn't have to be a yoga blanket, a towel folded up, or just a blanket from the couch is going to be perfect. Um, I specifically tried to put this class together with the thought that people are going to be practicing at home in a space that might, be, that might feel a little tight or confined. Um, the only reason I'm here filming at the studio is because uh, the sound is better and it means that my husband and my kids won't come busting in on me so do not feel like this is a yoga studio class um, this is absolutely meant to be done and enjoyed at home um, and so I'm really excited let's go ahead and get started all right so we're gonna go ahead and come to our comfortable cross-legged easy seated pose um, and this will be where we start class so get comfortable Again, this may be where you'd want to tuck a blanket underneath your tailbone um, to feel kind of supported. Um, with everything that's been going on right now, um, I'm really feeling like I need to do a lot of sort of supported grounding postures. Um, just sometimes in the middle of the morning, I need to stop and ground for a second. So we're going to come to easy seated pose, um, get comfortable, come to rest your hands, maybe palm side down on the tops of the thighs. Um, and we're going to begin just like we always do to find our breath. So feeling really strong and lifted through the spine and up through the crown of the head. Start to settle into the breath here. You can soften your gaze or if it's comfortable to do so, you can close your eyes. And really tune in here and start to notice what you feel from the inside. Feel your mat supporting you from underneath. Feel stable and rooted and connected. Moving your awareness up to your belly and notice your breath. This low belly breathing is where we want to try to focus our attention throughout our yoga practice, making sure that our breath is soft and full and even and smooth. It's very calming and it just feels good. Take a couple of moments here to really connect with the breath. And then moving your awareness outward and notice your shoulders, notice your hips. You might be feeling particularly tense here and that's okay. This next hour together is going to help us just kind of move and breathe and open things up. But the physical tension of sitting maybe more than we're used to, that creates parts of our bodies that feel tight and constricted. And just imagine as you inhale, opening up those places that feel a little locked in, a little tight. And as you exhale, softening and letting it go. Our inhales nourish us and our exhales help us cleanse. And here's the moment where if you're looking to create a little intention for this practice, maybe for this day or the, the start of this week, go ahead and hold a moment in the front of your mind. Letting that word or that phrase just be your singular focus for calm and strength.
All right, even though we're not together, we're gonna join in a kindred breath. So inhale, fill up the belly. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Good, one more kindred breath. Inhale, the belly. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Beautiful, if you haven't already, go ahead and gently blink your eyes open. And we're gonna get moving a little bit. So starting with just some seated cat-cow, keeping your hands resting comfortably on the thighs. As you inhale, open the heart forward, shoulders come back a little. Exhale, round the back, dome the shoulders, tucking the chin. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round and tuck. Just getting our midsection moving here. Inhale, big heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, heart. Good. Exhale, round. Two more times here. As you inhale, imagine opening a crop across the chest. Exhale, round, dome, tuck. One more time. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Beautiful. With your next breath, go ahead and come back to just a comfortable neutral position. Um, we're going to do a little bit of um, stretching, focusing on the neck. Like I said, I don't know about you, but with everything that's been going on, I've been feeling a little uh, like this lately. So we're going to stretch out the neck. <clears throat> go ahead and take your, now keep in mind, rights and lefts, we're going to be opposite of one another. Take your hand and place it up above the opposite ear. And you're going to gently guide that ear over towards the shoulder. And then the arm that's extended, you can slowly let it walk away. And you'll notice here a nice yummy stretch all down that extended side. If you want to deepen it, imagine reaching that lengthened hand a little further, a little longer. And notice how that turns the stretch on. Mmm, creating space where there hasn't been for a few days. Feels good. Breathing here. One more moment and then go ahead and slowly bring that left hand back in or your right depending on what side you were doing and then release the grip on the head and we'll switch sides now. So this time opposite side, gently guide that ear over towards the shoulder and then slowly walk that extended arm up, up and away, reaching towards the floor. Now think about, don't think about pulling on the neck, just imagine lengthening out that arm to deepen the stretch here. Should feel good. Breathing here. One more moment. Good. Go ahead and release the grip on the head and slowly let your head come back to neutral. Inhale the hands up tall. Exhale, just take it down for a forward fold here. Starting to get a little bit more into the hips. Don't have to take it far to feel the stretch here, particularly if you, like I said, have been feeling like you've been in a lot of seated positions lately, either at a desk or working from home. We carry a lot of tension in our hips. Inhale, slowly walk back up. And now unfold your legs and refold them the opposite way. And we'll do that same forward fold stretch again. Inhale the hands nice and tall. Exhale, take it forward. You might notice it feels a little different on this side and that's okay. Just stay here and breathe with me. Inhale, slowly walk it back up. Now coming to some seated twists. We're gonna inhale the hands up tall. And as you exhale, reach the right hand behind you, let the left hand come forward, either towards the floor or towards that right thigh. Just deepening the stretch here a little bit, making sure you're sitting up nice and tall and breathing into the belly. One more moment. On your next exhale, slowly return back to center. And we'll take that on the opposite side now. Inhale the hands up center. 
As you exhale, left hand comes behind, right hand lowers forward, either towards the floor or to the top of that thigh to deepen the twist. Sitting comfortably, breathing deeply, feels good to get moving. One more breath. On your next exhale, slowly roll back to center. We're gonna take um, eagle pose later, but to really kind of open up the back first, we're just gonna cross right arm over left and reach for opposite shoulders, reaching your elbow points forward. Nice stretch for across the back here. Imagine pressing your elbow points a little further forward, just broadening across the back. One more breath. And slowly release, unwind the arms, shake them out if you need to. And then this time we're gonna cross the other side. So left arm over, right, reaching for opposite shoulders, broaden across, creating space across the shoulder blades. Reach those elbows forward and breathe. One more moment. On your next exhale, slowly unwind the arms, shake them out if you need to. One final pose uh, on our seats before we come to our mat. So just unwind your legs, plant your feet wide, and let your hands support you from behind, kind of underneath of you. And then we're just gonna slowly start to sway our knees from side to side. Just waking up the legs a little bit since we've been in easy seat for a couple of moments. Don't feel the need to change your breath. Slow your movement down. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time either side. Good. All right. If you're sitting on a blanket, go ahead and scooch it out of the way. And we're going to come to tabletop. So go ahead and stack shoulders over wrists and hips are stacked over knees. Do a little bit of cat cow here as well. Inhale, melt the belly, look up. Exhale, round the back, dome the shoulders, tucking the chin. Inhale, melt the belly, look up. Exhale, round and dome. One more time each direction. Inhale, melt. Exhale, round. Good. Go ahead and come back to a neutral spine. And then we're going to do a little bit more movement with twists here. So let your legs come to child's pose. So big toes touch, knees are out wide. But then our upper torso is still lifted, kind of similar to tabletop. You're going to have your right hand underneath your right shoulder and bring your left hand to rest gently on the back of your head. As you inhale, open up that left elbow towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, close it down, elbow towards the floor. Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow point towards the floor. Move here with your breath. So inhale with the expansion. Exhale with the release. Two more times with your breath here. Last one, no rush, meet us when you're ready. And then when you're ready, go ahead and let that left hand plant on the floor. Now I'm gonna say this here, you're gonna notice I'm gonna be turning back and forth on my mat a lot. That's just so that I can demo both sides and allow my voice to, to carry. Um, not that I've been told I've ever had trouble there before. Um, but don't feel like you need to move on your mat, stay facing forward the whole time. All right. So same pose here, but this time opening up on the right side. Left hand is grounded underneath the shoulder. Right hand gently rests behind the head. Inhale, open that right elbow up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, close it down. Inhale, create space through the side body. Exhale, release. Inhale, open up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, open up. Nice. Exhale, let it go. Two more times on this side. 
Imagine all the space you're creating on the in-breath, and then exhale, let it go. One more time. Big expansion, and letting it go. Beautiful. Go ahead and let your right hand release back to the floor. We're gonna set up for um, a puppy pose, but we're gonna add on that little outer hip stretch. So bring your right knee in towards the center of your mat, and then you're gonna wrap your left leg behind it almost as if you were binding up for eagle, standing eagle pose. When you get there, start to slowly walk your hands forward towards the outer corners of your mat. Big stretch for the front of the chest, but then also you get a little outer hip stretch too. So breathing here. Softening and enjoying the open space that we're creating. One more breath, and when you're ready, slowly walk your hands back in, and then unwind the legs. Maybe give the tail a little wag. <sighs> and then we're gonna do the opposite side now. So this time the left knee is gonna set up in the center of our mat, right leg wraps behind it. Again, same kind of bind as if we were taking eagle. And then when you're ready, slowly walk your hands forward stretching the front of the chest, but then also getting a little bonus outer hip stretch here. <sighs> Breathing and making space. <sighs> One more moment. On your next in breath, slowly walk your hands back in and unwind the legs. From here, curl your toes and shift your hips and find your way to down dog. So you know I always like to say that everybody warms up their down dog a little bit differently. So if you have a favorite way to kind of get the backs of your legs warmed up, go ahead and take it. If you're with me, I like to start with my feet and kind of pedal out my heels. Moving that lengthening up the calves. Maybe shifting the hips, wagging the tail. Got to check in with the head and the neck. So thinking about gently shaking the head, yes. Gently shaking the head, no. I like to start with a really bent knee down dog and then as my body starts to open up a little bit, I find that my legs get a little bit uh, straighter. We're gonna start to add on some sun ace here and create a little bit more movement. So if you're ready, inhale up on both toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the front, step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. One full breath, inhale takes us all the way up to extended mountain. And then when you're ready, go ahead and slowly lower back down with the exhale. Inhale to a flat back. And then exhale, plant the hands, step or walk the feet back. We're all gonna slowly find our way to our bellies. Hands are under the shoulders, tops of the feet release to the floor. Inhale, lift up Cobra. Exhale, lower down. Stay here for one more Cobra. Inhale, lifting up, shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, lower down. With your next breath, go ahead and transition back to down dog. We're gonna stay here and take a couple of more sun A's. And again, if you know you like to add or subtract anything in your sun A, feel free to do it now. You get to make your own, make your own path. Inhale up on both toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the front. Step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. One full breath takes us all the way up. And then when you're ready to exhale, take it back down. <sighs> Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping or walking the feet back, lowering to our belly, saving that inhale for that big delicious cobra. And then exhale, transitioning back to down dog. Beautiful. All right. Again, inhale up on both toes. 
Exhale, bend the knees, look to the front, step or walk to the front of your space. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. We're gonna stay at the top of our mat here with our arms extended. Grab that right hand, lift it up, and bow it over towards the opposite side. Nice big side body stretch here. Mm -mm -mm, this should feel good. One more moment. When you're ready, come back, switch sides. Grab the opposite wrist, lift it up and bow it over. Oh, creating all kinds of space. Inhale, open up between the ribs. And release, come back to center. Inhale fully when you're ready to exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or walk the feet back. Lower to our belly. One big inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, shift back down dog. Awesome. We're gonna take one more sunday here. <clears throat> Sorry, one more sunday here. Again, if there's anything you feel like you wanna add or subtract, this time through I'm gonna just open up the chest a little bit more towards the ceiling, a little bit of a back bend. So inhale up on both toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the front, step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, brings us all the way up, and when you get fully standing, maybe open up the heart a little bit more. And then when you're ready, come back down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping or walking the feet back. Finding our way to our mat, saving our inhale for that big yummy cobra. Exhale, shift back down dog. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit and get into the flow. Remember if at any point you need to take a sip of water or come down to child's pose, please feel free. This is 100% your practice to do, to take it where you need to this beautiful Sunday morning. All right. So from our down dog, inhale, lifting the right heel up, exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. Our inhale lifts us up warrior one. So we're going to be staying here for a long hold to start. So that gives us an opportunity to really think about our legs and our alignment. Toes and knees are tracking towards the front of the room. Our left foot is angled slightly, and we're kind of rooting down through that outside edge, which helps lift the inner thigh bone. Our right hip is reaching back. Our left hip is reaching forward. We're not square creatures, but we're imagining we're trying to square our hips to the front of our mat. Arms are extended, and we're just breathing and feeling strong and stable in our warrior one. Breathe with me here for three more breaths. And when you come to that third exhale, let the hands plant, stepping the right toes back, lowering to the mat. Inhale lifts us up, cobra pose. Exhale finds our way back to down dog. Remember, I'm turning around on the mat, but I don't want you to. On the left side, inhale the left heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. Our inhales bringing us up, warrior one. Same setup as before. Toes and knees are tracking towards the front of the room. A little bend in the knee. Really rooting down through that pinky edge of that back foot, lifting the leg. Hips. Shift, arms lift, and we breathe. Noticing, has our breath left our belly? If it has, we just guide it back there. <sighs> Feeling strong and stable in our warrior one on this side. <sighs> the 
Three more of your breaths. Your breath, your pace. And when you come to your third exhale, those hands are gonna plant. Left toes step back, rolling through. Find your path back to down dog, however that's gonna look. Maybe you're feeling like you need to do a little bit of chaturanga. Maybe you're just here for the cobras because you've been kind of huddled over a desk or a table or a screen. Open it up here. Beautiful, all right. So this time our warrior one is just gonna be one breath, your breath, your pace. As we up, come up, we'll inhale, exhale, come back down. Inhale the right heel up. Exhale, drive the foot between the hands. Back foot spins flat. One full inhale brings us up. When you're ready to exhale, we come back down. Right toes step back, lowering down. Big yummy cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your way back to down dog. Awesome. Same, same, but on the left side. Inhaling the left heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands. Right foot spins flat. One full inhale brings us up. When you're ready to exhale, we come back to the floor. Plant the hands, stepping the left toes back. Lowering down. One big inhale in our cobra or up dog. Exhale, shift back, down dog. Beautiful. <sighs> Lastly, we're going to add a little bit of movement to our warrior one. <sighs> so inhale the right heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. Inhale, bringing us up warrior one. So take a second first to make sure that you feel really good about your alignment and your setup because when our upper body's working, in warrior two, we want to make sure that our legs are keeping us feeling really rooted and stable and balanced. So take a second to check the legs, make sure we're feeling good. And here's where we're going to add the movement, bringing the hands down, imagining you have something that you want to offer to somebody, something good. Exhale, bring it out. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, we're putting a little good out. Inhale, with a little good for us too. Exhale, offering it up. Inhale, bring it back. Beautiful, three more times here. Exhale, offer it up. Inhale, bring it back. Moving at your breath pace here. Don't feel like you have to speed up or slow down for me. Exhale, reaching it out. Inhale, brings it back when you're ready. Inhale, lengthen the arms. And then exhale, plant the hand, stepping the right toes back. Rolling through your vinyasa, finding your way back to down dog, however that needs to be. Awesome. All right. Same, same on the left side. Inhaling the left heel up. Exhale, drives the foot between the hands, right foot spins flat. Inhale, brings us up, warrior one. Again, take a second to make sure you're really feeling strong and supported by the alignment of your legs, so that when you add the movement, it doesn't make you feel wobbly, it feels, helps you feel strong and stable. All right, and then when you're ready, grab that good thing you're ready to offer, right? Exhale, offer it out. Inhale, come back. The good that we put out will come back to us in time. Exhale, put it out. Inhale, bring it back. Couple more times here, just moving with your breath. Two more cycles, moving at your pace. And then when you're ready, inhale the hands tall. Exhale, plant them, stepping the left toes back. Finding your way through your vinyasa and back to down dog. Awesome. All right. I don't know why. 
It didn't occur to me that I would get thirsty doing this. Ha! Huh. All right, from our down dog, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Inhale up on both toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look to the front, step or hop to the front of your space. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. As you inhale, sink the hips. We're gonna find our way to chair, which a lot of you know I like to call lightning bolt pose because chair pose sounds passive and there's nothing passive about this. So really ground down strong through the heels. Legs are really active. Midsection is zipped in and strong, keeping our core supported, keeping our back supported. If your shoulders need a break, hands together is perfect. You may also enjoy kind of gold post arms. So we're here for four of your breaths. Taking a moment to really ground. Where has your breath gone? Is it still in the belly? If not, just gently guide it back. Notice where your thoughts have gone. Be gentle with them as well. One more moment here. When you're ready to come out of chair, inhale to bring some space back to the body. Stretch it out. Ooh, that should feel good. And then exhale, take it all the way back down, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or walk the feet back. Lowering to the belly. Inhale, lifting up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, shifts us back down dog. Awesome. We're gonna do the same kind of idea that we do with warrior one, now with warrior two. So leading with the right side, inhale the right heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. You know I love a sound effect. Warrior two. So taking a second, this will be a long hold here, taking a second to get really solid and stable in our legs. Again, toes and knees tracking towards the front of the room. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. We're not leaning forward or reaching back. Rooting through that outside edge of the back foot, lifting that inner thigh a little bit. Hands extend from out from the shoulders and taking a second to make sure your back hand hasn't drifted down or isn't reaching up. Warrior two. Notice where your breath is. Just help it be smooth and gentle and steady in the lower abdomen. Three more of your breaths. When you come to that third exhale, we're gonna flip the hand, palm face up, take it forward, big inhale to reverse the warrior. Oh, that should feel really good all down the right side here. Can you keep the bend in that right knee while still reaching the fingertips back? Just making some space. One more breath. And when you're ready to exhale, windmill, take it to the floor. Plant the hand, stepping the right toes back. Rolling through your vinyasa, saving that inhale for that big yummy cobra or up dog. Beautiful. On the left side, inhale the left heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands. Back foot spins flat. Sound effect with me. Warrior two. Yeah. So same thing. Take a second first to really settle into your legs and feel strong and supported. Stacking our bones with good alignment. It's just gonna kind of help the cause. So toes and knees are tracking towards the front of the room. I'm not letting my knee bow in or kind of buckle out. Lifting up through that inner thigh bone. Shoulders are stacked over the hips, arms extend. Warrior two on this side. Starting with the long hold. So just enjoying that grounding and powerful sensation, taking up all the space on our mat.
Three more of your breaths. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, flipping that left hand up, reach it up and inhale, reverse the warrior. Oh, that should feel really good. Keeping the bend in the left knee, really reach those left fingertips to the back behind you to open up that left side. Two more breaths here. Big inhale, exhale, windmill, take it to the floor, plant the hands, stepping the left toes back, rolling through your vinyasa. And remember, if at any point you just wanna press back to down dog, that's perfect. Listen to your shoulders, listen to your body, give your body what it needs. All right, so in keeping with our pattern, this is gonna be a one breath warrior too. Inhaling the right heel up, Exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. One full inhale brings us up. Exhale, flip that front palm forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior. When you're ready to exhale, take it all the way back to the floor. Plant the hands. Right toes step back. Rolling through. Big yummy cobra or up dog if those are still serving you. And then exhale, shift back down dog. Beautiful. Same, same, but on the left side. <sighs> Inhale, the left heel up. Exhale, drive the foot between the hands. Back foot spins flat. Whoosh, warrior two. Exhale, flip that left palm. Inhale, reversing the warrior. And when you're ready to exhale, take it all the way back to the floor. <sighs> Planting the hands, stepping the left toes back. Finding your way back to down dog and giving your body what it needs. Beautiful. All right. So in the same, uh, in the, along the same lines, we're going to add a little bit of movement to warrior two for our last time through. So inhale, the right heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands, spinning the back foot flat. I love the idea of people scattered all over town going, whoosh, warrior two. So taking a second to really dial in the legs, feel really strong and stable. And here's where we're going to add our movement. Straighten the legs, hands extend up towards the ceiling. Your gaze can stay straight ahead or you can look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, straighten the front leg gaze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Good. Couple more times here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Last time. <sighs> exhale, flip that palm face up. Take it forward, take it back. Big reverse. Oh, feels good. Big stretch. And when you're ready, exhale, windmill, plant the hand, stepping the right toes back. Decide how you're going to get yourself back to down dog and then make it happen. Beautiful. All right, same, same on the left. Inhale the left heel up. Exhale, driving the foot between the hands. Back foot spins flat. Say it with me. Warrior two. <laughs> Settle into the legs, feel really strong and stable, and when you're ready, add the movement. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the leg. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Beautiful. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reaches us up. Exhale, lowers us down. Couple more times here, just moving with the breath. Last time. And then when you come, flip that left hand, palm face up. Take it forward, reaching back, reverse your warrior. All kinds of space expanding down that left side. Inhale, and when you're ready to come out of the pose, exhale, plant the hand, stepping the left toes back, rolling through. Big inhale in your cobra or up dog. Exhale, shifts us back, down dog. 
beautiful. All right. Take a second for a sip of water. Take a second for a child's pose. We're not going to be cueing, obviously, any kind of inversion practice um, or arm balances. If that's something you want to practice on at home afterwards, that's fine. Um, legs up the wall might feel awesome later today. I know that's certainly a really comforting grounding pose as well. Um, but I kind of felt like we, um, it's fun to work on a little bit of balance and nothing says to me grounded and rooted like tree pose. So after your sip of water, if you need to take a little bit longer of a time at child's pose, please feel free to do so. Um, but if you're with me, we're going to be our own little scattered forest. So start by grounding down with the left side. And again, the nice thing about doing this from home is you can, if you need a little bit of extra support with your balance, you can use a chair, a nearby table, scoot over towards a wall, um, help yourself feel as strong and stable as you can when we work on our tree. So start by grounding down through the left foot. And then I like to come first and use my right toes as kind of a kickstand. And then really engaging the legs here, feel really strong and stable. I like to start with my hands together. Coming back to the midline helps us feel a little bit more stable. And then if you wanna kind of reach that right foot up the leg, the curve of your foot is gonna fit beautifully against the curve of your calf. And this might be all the balance you want to right now. Just focus on that contact with the floor, grounding down, establishing your roots. Couple of breaths here. If you want to reach that right foot up towards the inside of that left leg, go for it. Really think about focusing the leg against the foot and the foot against the leg. Really stabilizing that connection here. Find that spot on the floor away from you or maybe out the window or someplace that you can focus your gaze that will help you feel stable and balanced. And spring is coming, so maybe we wanna grow our branches. And if you grew your branches, maybe you wanna check out and see if it's a windy day. But whatever, wherever you take this pose here, just think about letting it, you, letting it help you feel stable and strong. And if you're ready, if you grew your branches, go ahead and come bring them back to center. And then exhale, carefully let those right toes step down to the floor. If you need to give that left ankle a little roll, a little bit of love, go for it. And then we'll set up now on the right side. Now keep in mind, maybe due to uh, how you carry yourself, an old injury or some imbalance, one side's balance may feel way different than the other and that's totally okay. So you might need a chair or a wall on one side, not the other, and that's perfect. But get grounded and stable on the right side. Same setup as before. So I like to start with my feet in a kickstand just to kind of get everything stacked and lengthened. And then if you're ready, that left foot can hug the curve of the calf. Finding that magical spot that helps us focus our gaze. Focusing our gaze can help us feel stable, more balanced. And then if you want that left leg to come to the inner thigh, go ahead and bring it up there now. Again, focusing the connection, thigh to foot, foot to thigh. Stay here for as long as you need to. If you feel like growing your branches, grow your branches. If it feels like a windy day, enjoy the breeze. Just all the while remembering that connection, that ground, that root, keeping us stable. One more breath. If you're ready, bring your branches in and then carefully let the left toes touch down on ground. Roll that right ankle out, yum. If you turned, go ahead and come back um, to the top of your mat. We're going to um, get a little stretchy to finish out class. So inhale, hands up tall. Exhale, take it all the way back down, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. And then as you exhale, let the hands plant, step the left toes back, 
and we're going to come to a low lunge here. So here's where you might want to have that blanket to support underneath your kneecap. That might feel really, really good. If you couldn't grab a blanket, you always have the option of keeping that left leg lifted up off the ground, kind of activating that back leg um, so that it's not uncomfortable in your kneecap. But we're going to be here for a couple breaths. Going to get nice and stretchy. So breathing here, imagine you're pressing that front foot down into the floor and then almost drawing the heel back towards you. The foot won't actually move, but you're really going to notice it more in that hamstring and into the glute. If you like, you can interlace your hands, put them on top of the thigh, kind of pressing the leg away, lifting the torso, breathing here. Two more breaths, wherever you are. Good. And then go ahead on your next exhale, plant the hands. If you're on that left kneecap, go ahead and carefully lift up off of it and step your left toes up towards the front of your mat. Remember, I'm just turning around so I can demo the other side. So in your forward fold, inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. As you inhale, this time we're going to step the right foot back. Decide how you want to treat your right kneecap. Do you need the blanket? Are you going to activate the leg? And then find yourself in your low lunge. So breathing here, getting nice and stretchy. Again, think about pressing that left foot down into the floor and then drawing the heel back and notice how that kind of activates the muscles along the hamstring a little bit differently. Just breathing here, sending all kinds of love and good thoughts to our leg muscles that worked so hard together this last hour. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, exhale, let the hands plant. As you inhale, carefully rise up off that back knee. And this time, just step your left toes back to meet your right for down dog. Take a second in down dog just to kind of notice how your body feels after all this movement and breath. It should feel hopefully a little bit more spacious and just kind of yummy. We're going to come to half pigeon. If you know that half pigeon doesn't work for you and you have a favorite way to modify it, go for it. This also might be a time when you want to have that folded up blanket. Um, if you normally practice and tuck a, a block under your hip in half pigeon, um, a folded blanket works lovely as well. So we're going to inhale, lift that right leg up. As you exhale, drive that right knee through and set it up outside of the right wrist for half pigeon. Remember, if you're feeling super flexible, your shin bone will feel or will be sort of closer to or parallel with the front of your mat. Um, that is definitely not how I'm feeling. My heel is going to be closer underneath my seat. Take a peek back at that left leg and make sure that it is extended straight out behind you, that it hasn't wandered out to one side or the other. And I want you to think about starting here really straight and tall. So again, this can be the place where you tuck a block or excuse me, a blanket under that right hip. But really strengthening that lower pelvis and not just sinking in. And then if you want, inhale, exhale, you can lower a little bit forward, coming to your forearms or to that folded blanket. We'll be here for a couple of breaths. So find the place that's comfortable for you to just kind of settle in and breathe here. Sometimes we can just lower right down into half pigeon. Other times we have to do it in stages. So listen to your body, listen to your knees, listen to your hips. Um, find that edge in this pose and then breathe there.
two more breaths here. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, inhale, start to slowly lift your torso from wherever you lowered to. Planting the hands, sending that right leg back, three-legged dog. If it feels good, let that right leg kind of roll around. Just rolling out the hip. And then right toes come down to meet the left. And then we're going to take half pigeon on the left side. So same setup as before. Inhale, lifting the left leg up. Exhale, driving that left knee through, setting it up on the outside of the left wrist this time. Keeping in mind that half pigeon is definitely a pose where we can notice a lot of differences from one side to the other. Maybe one side needs a block and one side doesn't. That's fine. So find the half pigeon that's going to work on this side. Thinking about, okay, where's my back leg? Is it extended out behind me? Really firming up our lower pelvis, feeling rooted and strong. Inhale, and then if you want it, as you exhale, lower forward, find the edge on this side. Doesn't have to look the same as it did on the right, as long as it feels good on this side. So just breathing here. Two more breaths on this side. And when you're ready to say goodbye to half pigeon on this side, slowly start to inhale, lifting the torso up. And then carefully come up off that right knee, send the left leg back, rolling that left leg out if it feels good. And then left toes come down to meet the right. One final moment to enjoy down dog. Just noticing how it feels compared to how it was when we started class. And just appreciating the space that we can create in our bodies with a little bit of breath and movement. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come down to a comfortable seated position. You can shoot your feet through your hands or you can drop to your knees, cross your ankles and roll over your feet. We're gonna come all the way down to our backs and take a bridge pose. <clears throat> so in setup for bridge, you want your heels as close to your seat as you can with your feet and knees, hips distance apart, making sure that when you come down to the floor that your feet and knees didn't kind of track out or track in. Um, as you're ready, start to drive down through your heels and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. So we're creating a really active back body here to kind of open up the front body. If you would like, bend your elbows at 90 degrees, so you kind of have these robot arms almost, and then press the floor away with the backs of your upper arms to open up the chest a little bit more. And then if you're ready, you can soften your forearms back towards the floor. So just breathing here in your bridge pose. If you have a favorite way to take bridge, Go for it. We're here for four more of your breaths. When you come to that final, that fourth breath, Go ahead and slowly lower all the way back down to the mat. You can widen your feet here and gently sway your knees side to side. Now, if, you know, if you've been to one of my classes, you know how I feel about twists at the end of yoga. It's my favorite way to finish out a class. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cue my favorite twist now. If you have a favorite way to twist at the end of class and you wanna take it, that's perfect. Um, so if you're with me, draw both of your knees into your chest. Maybe enjoy a little moment, side to side sway. And then keep 
that left knee hugged in close and send the right leg long so the heel is all the way on the floor. As you inhale here, give that left knee a little hug. And then with the exhale, you're gonna guide that left knee across the body. And from that left arm, you can extend the arm out from the shoulder. Maybe goalpost arms would feel good here too. You can experiment with that. And your gaze can either be up at the ceiling or if it's comfortable to do so in the neck, you can gaze over that left shoulder. I always joke that if I were a nurse and I didn't work at a, at a medical facility that I would do this on the job, but that nobody wants to see their nurse rolling around on the floor. And that just reminds me of all my doctor and nurse and pharmacy friends that are working so hard during all this. So I'm sending them a lot of love and peace today. Breathing here. That was certainly a short list. I obviously was talking about all healthcare workers, everybody. Two more breaths on this side. And when you're ready to come out of the pose with that exhale, slowly roll back to center and then draw your right knee back into your chest. Give yourselves a little hug, maybe a little gentle rock side to side. And now this time we're going to keep that right knee hugged in close. Left leg goes long, heels all the way on the mat. Inhale, hug that right knee in. As you exhale, send the right leg across the body. And again, you can experiment with the arm here. Your hand can be extended straight out from the shoulder, or you can bend the elbow for goalpost arms. And your gaze can either be up at the ceiling or over that right shoulder. Softening here, really making sure our breath is going down into our belly. Two more breaths on this side. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, slowly exhale, roll back to center. Draw both of your knees into your chest. Give yourselves a big hug, a big congratulatory Sunday morning squeeze. We got to practice together. And then when you're ready, slowly start to come out into Shavasana. So make any little adjustments that you need to. You can use that blanket to support under your feet or knees or under your head. But get comfy, make any adjustments you need to to your clothes. Let your feet flop open and let your arms rest heavy at your side. You can soften your gaze here or if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your body as it rests on your mat. Feel supported by the floor beneath you and start to soften into that support. Relaxing the muscles around the forehead and the eyes. Softening the jaw Relaxing down through the neck to the shoulders. Relaxing the muscles of the upper arms and the lower arms. Down through the wrists and out the fingers. Moving back up your arms, focus your attention now in the area around your heart softening here and breathing here for just a moment. Softening the ribs, breathing into the lower abdomen, relaxing down through navel center, relaxing through the pelvis to the hips, 
softening the muscles around the thigh bones, relaxing the knees, the calves, down through the ankles and the feet and all the way out the toes. Move your awareness back up the legs to the hips, the navel center, and heart center. And focus your awareness now on your breath just as it enters and exits your nose. Your breath feels cool on the inhale and warm on the exhale. We'll stay here just a few moments and enjoy some very much deserved rest. Slowly start to bring a little awareness back to your body. Gently bring a little bit of movement to fingers and toes. Wake up wrists and ankles. Reach your arms overhead and stretch your feet towards the front of the room like you're waking up after a lazy nap. Carefully roll onto one side, drawing your knees up and resting your head on your arm. Taking a moment to be grateful for our time together, even if we're apart. Be proud of your hard work, of the space that you created and the light that you let in. Whenever you're ready, carefully press up to a comfortable seated position, hands at heart center, eyes are either at a soft gaze or gently closed. <laughs> we did it. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your Sunday and your yoga practice with us. This has been quite an interesting uh, turn of events. Shelly and I are missing you all terribly. We hope everyone is well and safe and secure. Um, thank you so much for uh, the support that you've sent us little messages and posts um, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, your uh, love and light means so much to us. Um, where we, Shelly has created a, a YouTube channel so that we can practice yoga together more. You'll be able to come and check out little videos that we're creating for you just so that you can feel connected um, to this community that you've come to enjoy so much. Um, I look forward to seeing you all in person where we can hug and high five. And until then, be well. Namaste.